All right, guys, so now that we're done with part two, which was putting on the flight controller and the ESC, now we're gonna get to installing the motors. A few things I wanna point out. Let's go ahead and grab the motors first. So this is gonna be, we're gonna call this uh, part three, I guess, for this video, it'll be uh, installing the motors. So let's look at this real quick. Here's your four motors right here. And here are the four bag of screws that come with it, okay? There's also what I forgot to point out was in your box, uh, there's a couple things I forgot to point out is in your, in your package there is gonna be a thing of tape right here and you're gonna have three zip ties, okay? Zip ties we won't be using right now, but the tape we are gonna use, so you can just set that aside. One thing I do wanna point out is let's go ahead and open the contents of these bags, okay? Um, there are times where there might be an odd count of screws, and so we wanna make sure that you have the exact ones that you need. Also, I want you to watch this real quickly. As you can see, if I get the motor near it, these are magnetic. Do not get the motor near the screws because they can get caught up inside there. They can get twisted, almost like this one did and they can end up in these little gaps in your motor and then it'll break the motor, okay? So be very careful. What we wanna do is we wanna separate these screws, okay? So you're gonna see a set of long screws and a set of short screws, all right? And it, depending on what you're using, depending on if you have the, um, if you're using a prop guard or not, this kit comes with the, optional, the option to add a prop guard. If you're using a prop guard, then you will use the longer screws if you're not using a prop guard and you're just going to attach the motors, you will use the shorter ones. If you use the longer ones without a prop guard, you will puncture the uh, windings underneath and you will damage the motor. So please be very careful. Only use the shorter ones, okay, if you're not running with a prop guard. And you'll know prop guard is a really big piece right there. Um, so what we're going to do is this build does not have the prop guard, the one I'm doing. So I'm going to set the longer screws aside and I'll actually just keep track of them by putting them in a box here, or I mean in a bag. So let me set the longer ones aside since we're not gonna use those. And if you are gonna use the prop guards, you need the long ones, and please just set the shorter ones aside. Like I said, it's magnetic, and this stuff tends to get caught in motors. So I'm gonna separate the short ones and put them in my little organizer here and here. I think I'll put them right here so we can keep track. Now, if you happen to be missing any, we send some extra screws with our kits because some of these will come with an odd number of screws from time to time. And so we wanna just make sure that you've got you covered, okay? We're gonna take the long ones out of here. There you go. And we're just gonna put the short ones right here, okay? In total, it takes four screws to hold down the motor. You don't have to use four screws all the time, but uh, for this build, we are going to, which means you need a total of 16 small screws if you're doing without prop guard, and you need 16 long screws if you're using a prop guard. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these, and we're gonna set these uh, prop fasteners aside Okay, just put those up here for now. Um, so make sure to sort out the short screws, line those up because you're gonna need 16 of them. And if you find yourself short on them, then just grab the extras that we sent with your kits. I'll have some extras here for me too. Put that here, okay. I got one more bag to open. There we go. Okay, one, two, three. Looks like I'm gonna be short just one screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull an extra one out of my stuff here. And I'm gonna put all these, and I want you to save these screws right here. These are really great to save because you could use them in another build or something else. Or if you decide to upgrade and put prop guards on here, uh, then you can always use those screws to screw down the prop guards. So let me grab one more screw for mine. And I've got to match it here, so let me make sure I match the screw properly. Uh, let's see, that'll be this one. So let me just put that right there. There we go. Make sure that's right. That is perfect. Okay, so I'll put that right there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, let's figure out how we're going to wire this up. So the first thing is we're going to start by, um, we can take these screws and move them out of the way. We're going to start by working on this motor here, although you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to start here. This is actually considered motor number two, and you'll learn that later. It's actually numbered one, two, three, and four. Uh, but I'm just going to do the top right motor, so motor number two, okay? So I want to take my motor, and I want you to notice this is your heat shrink right here on the motor that the factory puts on it it needs to run down this arm. So make sure your motor sits just like this, okay? And when you turn it over and you look at it from the other side, you're gonna notice that there's this uh, clip right here that should sit right in the center of this center hole, just like that. Okay, so let me show you, that's what that should look like, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. 
We're gonna take the screws. Get your screwdriver, okay? Or your hex driver, that is. And we're gonna go to motor two here. So first thing is just put this, put the screw through the opening right there, okay? Just like that. All right, let me see if you can see that. Just right there, okay? And put the top left just like this and just kind of, just screw it down, but don't tighten it. Just, just kind of leave it loose because you've got to be able to move the motor around to get the other screws to fit, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put four screws in and we're going to do them cross corner. One, two, and then three, four. Always go across, okay? So there's one. Let me do the second one. All right, and again, don't tighten it down too much. Then now that the second one's in, we're gonna do a third one. Once the third one's in, we're gonna do the fourth one, okay? There you go. Once they're in, you can tighten them a little bit. Don't go too crazy on tightening. There's, there's not a, don't over tighten them. Don't snap the screw, but there you go. Basically just like that. Now you've got it down here, okay? And now what you've got on this side is we need to connect these to these wires right here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the three um, bullet connectors here. We've got one, one, and then this middle one right here, okay? So the front facing here is going to go into the yellow. So do that one, just like this, okay? And then leave the middle one alone. Don't mess with that one just yet. Then take the other one here on this side. Plug that into the black one right there, just like that, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to just tuck the wires, just like this. Just lay those two on the arm, and I'll show you what it looks like. Lay those two just like this. Okay, let me get this situated. Okay, there's one, there's two. And bring them in together if you can, just like that, okay? So what you end up with, and I'm gonna to try to keep them together, but what you're gonna end up with is the yellow and the black sitting here with this middle wire getting ready to be connected, okay? So here we go. What you wanna do on this one is you're gonna take the middle wire and you plug it into the red and you're just gonna lay that on top of the other ones, just like this, okay? Now, if you want, you can put them all down on the arm and lay them flat. Depends on how you like to do it, okay? So if you look at that just like that, you can lay them all flat like this, all right? Or you can stand them up where the two are on the bottom and the red is on the top, whichever one you prefer, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of tape and you're gonna fold it and then fold it again so you've got four, basically four sections and you're gonna cut along those sections, all right? So let me get my scissors and cut this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them all now. All right. And we want to tape these wires down to protect them. Make sure they don't fly up and hit the propeller when it's running. So peel that off. Now, I'll, I'll do this as if you were laying them flat, okay? Go to the middle of the arm on the back, something like this right about here. Tape, put the tape on there first so it gets a good grip. Wrap it around. And if you're going to lay them flat, just make sure you're holding them in place flat, just like this, okay? And then bring the tape over. All right, keep them together and then wrap it around again. And there you go. You've got your first set of motor wires all done. Okay, and it should look very clean. And they could be, so if this is flat, they should all be nice and flat like that. Okay, and you can take that tape, whichever piece I use, throw that out. And let's get started to the next motor. So you're gonna do the rest of the motors the same way. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and knock this out. And you do the same. So I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna do motor four next. Remember, don't tighten it too much because if you do need to move the motor so that you can get the other holes to line up properly, uh, it's, you can't do that if you've tightened it already. All right, so there's that. And at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish mounting all four motors first, and then I'll come back and do the wiring, and you can do the same, because you're kind of already in the process anyway, so you might as well just finish it. So once these are on there, there we go. All right, I'll grab my next motor. All 
And remember, when you screw these motors down, you're doing them cross corner. So you go to the opposite side end corner. All right. And I got one motor left, and then I'll finish the wiring very quickly. Okay. All right, last motor. Okay, now we've got all the motors down. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect the wires. And again, keep the same pattern where you do the outside um, yellow and the outside black first. It helps to kind of keep the wires in order and keep them sitting properly. And then do the middle wire to the red last. Okay, just like that. And this way you can get these kind of situated already. So we'll do one there, one there. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like if you do them like a, I guess if you don't flatten them, although I think flatten on these arms is going to be just fine. Sometimes we have drones with thinner arms and you can't flatten them out, but this one's actually a pretty good size. So just try to line them up and keep them as, um, keep them as uniform as possible. Okay, just like this. Now go ahead and take your tape and just keep doing it like you were doing on the last one. Again, turn it over. Find the middle of it pretty much just like that. Bring it around and make sure all the wires, all the connectors are about as even as they can as you can get them. There we go. Okay, second motor's done. Over here and do the third one. All right, and then we'll do the last one here. go once those are laid down we'll put the last piece of tape in and we will have our motors done
Okay, so I've just finished with mine, so let me show you what we've got. We've got all four motors. Okay, you can see the color coding, everything is uniform. Yellow to the black, just like that. All right, now the only thing left to do is going to be to just take these little prop fasteners so we don't lose them. Let's just go ahead and screw them on top of the motor just like that, okay? You don't need to go any more than that. Don't try to get the nylon to go down, that white piece. Just leave it to where it just stays on here. This way we don't lose them and they don't get, you know, they don't roll off the table or what have you. But when you're done, there's the bottom side of this. And there's the top side of it. All your motors are now done. Your wiring is done and you're ready to go to the next step. So we're going to stop right here and make sure our table is clean. Make sure all our tools are put aside and we'll get ready and we'll come back uh, for uh, part four. See you in just a minute.